Hey everyone, thanks for, for coming on. Um, so just to, to reiterate, today we'll be going through some of the movement standards. Um, basically we've broken up all the movement standards uh, which are required to do within the gym. Um, we've broken them up into movement patterns. So there's eight fundamental human movement patterns that bas basically form the movement standards and exercises. Okay, so most exercises will come down to that one of the eight or sometimes uh, multiple um, human movement patterns. For example, like a clean and jerk is a pull movement and then it's a press. Okay, so um, it all funnels down to the eight fundamental human patterns. So we'll go through that today. So we'll be covering the free weight and the body weight uh, exercises. So, um, you know, once you um, attend uh, one of the four webinars, or all four webinars, then you would have completed all of the free weight and the body weight movement standards, okay? So then all you're required to do is the, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's gone again. Um, all you're required to do is the gym-based um, exercises, okay? So today we'll be co covering the push uh, movement patterns, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen with you guys. So you guys can see that. Thumbs up if you can see it. Cool. Awesome. So today we'll be going through the push, uh, one of the eight fundamental human movement patterns. So the push. Um, basically, we have broken up, uh, I, I guess, all movement, uh, bodily movement actions into these eight fundamental human movement patterns. Um, so the basic eight are the locomotion, the squat, the hinge, the lunge, the push-pull rotation, and also the bend, okay? The push, so we're gonna discuss the push, um, the movement pattern, and we'll do a 40 to 45 minute workout. Um, all you'll need for today's workout is a broomstick or a barbell if you have, um, any dumbbells or any bands that you have, uh, also a water bottle and a towel, okay? So the push obviously is the opposite of the pull. So this movement includes moving uh, weights away from your body. So for example, if you're doing a uh, bench press, you'd be lowering the weight to your body and then also push the weight away from your body, okay? Um, also, there's a, it also involves um, pushing your body away from an object, away from the weight. For example, in a push-up, you're pushing your body away from the resistance, away from the weight, okay? Um, there are two uh, planes uh, that this movement works in. So one is the vertical. So a vertical push is something like a shoulder press. So vertical being straight up and down, okay? And there's also a horizontal um, push, which is maybe standing and pushing an object away from you. Okay, um, cool. So for example, if you're doing a seated um, chest press machine, you're seated and you're doing uh, a horizontal press, okay? Cool. Um, basically, the ma major muscle groups, if we look at an exercise, so let's just break down an exercise such as the push-up. So basically the major muscle groups that are working in a push-up is the pectorials, okay? So these two major joints that are, that are moving, one is the shoulder and the other is the elbow, okay? So whenever a joint moves, then muscles engage, muscles also contract, okay? So major muscle groups who are working in a push-up is the chest, primarily the chest, because then the movement initiates from that shoulder and then the last third of the movement is triceps, okay? So that's how we can sort of identify what muscles are working by breaking down the actual movement. Okay. Um, so some cues for the push-up, just as a personal trainer, we always want to have multiple views. So you can look at a client front to back. Um, we can see, see certain things and also coming from the side, we can see certain things. Okay. So um, standing in front of a client whilst they're doing a push-up, just make sure their hands are placed in alignment with their shoulders. Okay, so obviously they're not lower or they're not higher. Um, you could probably also see that from the side. Um, and also just ensure when they come down, so they lower their chest about a fist away from the floor. Okay, um, but some people sometimes people might have a bigger chest um, and they might go all the way down. Um, but 
generally we try to ensure that just to keep constant tension on the muscle, we want to be off the ground. And um, usually a fist is what we recommend. Okay. Um, from the side view, you can see certain things. So um, just ensure that they're keeping a strong core. Okay, so they're not slouching. So their core's not dipping. Also the opposite, they're not hiking. So their, their, their glutes or their butt isn't too high up in the air. Uh, also just to uh, ensure that at the top of the movement, they don't fully lock out in the elbows, okay? So this is the same kind of principles you can use for just about every exercise. So if they're doing a row on the way forward, you don't want them to fully lock out, okay? When they're doing a shoulder press on the way out, they don't fully lock out, okay? And this just ensures that they keep constant tension in the muscles, all right? Does anyone have any questions at this point? Feel free to jump in and ask the question if you like. I guess I can hear my own voice, so nah, it's all good. All right, so the next is, um, so some of the basic, some of the exercises that we'll be covering today um, is a push-up or we'll press-up. Um, we'll look at the barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, barbell shoulder press, um, dumbbell shoulder press, and also some tricep exercises, okay? I might actually throw in some core in our workout as well, so um, just to keep keep it interesting. So yeah, basically that's 